Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today what we're going to do is a well-requested video. Um, I have so many requested videos. This is to draw a basic folk, uh, folk girl face and folk art girl face. And, um, I'm sorry, brain fog today. Uh, I have many of these on my channel and I'm going to show again. Um, which is no big deal. I love reshowing. I love, um, that I get new, uh, mix, new people to mixed media and art journaling and all that kind of thing. So I'm stoked to do it. Um, and I'm going to give you a few tips. I did not make, uh, you know, the folk art girl face up. I did not do any of that. I'm going to give you tips that work for me. Um, and, uh, I think would help beginners and that kind of thing. And people who are not, uh, real confident in drawing faces. Um, you know, a lot of you write me and are nervous to start putting that face on a paper. And, you know, one of the reasons I started the odd girls that I do is because um, sometimes my brain and my hands um, do not compute together. They do not work together. I see things and I see them backwards and I can't quite figure it out and I can't get it to paper and all that kind of stuff. So I started the odd girls because I would have an eye up here and an eye down here and all that kind of thing. Um, if you don't know what my odd girls are, I will link a, a video up here and in the description for you to check out a video on them. I make them into art quilts now and sell them on my Etsy, uh, which the link is down below, um, because so many of you um, love them and love drawing them as well. Um, I love when you guys send me uh, pictures and that of what you guys do. And as well as when, if you do this, um, please, all my information is down below. You can email me. You can hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, um, Google. Uh, you can do all that and you can message it to me if you don't want it to be on a Facebook public wall or you can tag me. And um, I love seeing what you guys do. And I like putting some of them at the end of some of my videos so y'all can see what everybody's doing. I love doing that so much. So get going. Okay. So as you can see, I have a, this is just a piece of plastic. I think I used this. It looks like I used this when I was doing the acrylic pouring, which I will have a video, another, I'm either deciding a live stream or a video. I can't quite decide what I'm going to be doing next. Um, but I will let you know. And if I do a live stream, I will, uh, make sure I set it ahead of time. So people know, because I got so many, um, messages of you guys saying, Oh no, I didn't know you were live. And you know, that kind of thing. So I didn't, it was like a spur of the moment thing, just trying to get live stream to work anyway. That's for another day. Okay. So I just have a piece of paper here. Now listen to me. This is a, um, very inexpensive. This is not good mixed media paper. It is from Artist Loft. It's a sketching pad. It's not even mixed media paper. It is thin. When I draw sometimes for my mixed media paintings, I like using sketching paper because um, it's not as thick to then glue it on to my background. Um, I also like mixed media paper as well. So use printer paper, use scrapbook paper, use, um, what did I say this was? You can use tracing paper, sketchbook paper, mixed media paper, watercolor paper, Bristol paper, um, printer paper. What else did I say? I probably said that 20 times. Um, you can take newspaper, magazine paper. Now listen to me, take gesso. If you don't have gesso, use your white school, white, white, uh, acrylic paint and just throw it down there. A lot of you write me and say, I don't want to waste. I bought a pad of mixed media paper and I don't want to waste me drawing bad faces and wasting the paper. So get a magazine, get a newspaper. A lot of us get the newspaper, um, throw gesso down, throw white acrylic paint down, let it dry, use that. Um, and then if you really dig it and you want to use it in your art journal or in a painting or whatever, then you definitely can still use it. Um, do not be restricted, constricted, don't know the right word, um, on thinking that you have to use a certain paper. I love watching all kinds of different artists and YouTuber, uh, artists on, Oh, Kelly, the, the medicine today is really good into my brain. I love watching YouTube artists do paintings and uh, mixed media and art journaling and all that they do. I love, I mean, I watch people that use very expensive to not expensive. My favorite thing, and this is not just because I work for plaid now, but is the folk art paint. If you go back on my channel four years when I started, I was using me some folk art paint. Um, and it's partly because I used to do the, um, 
uh, one stroke painting. And um, I used to do it with the kids when they were little because they got the most results with that. And I love it. And I do have a lot of requests for that as well uh, since I've been doing the folk art. Um, so yeah, and I have like all the old school um, Donna Downey, uh, not Donna Downey, Donna Dewberry um, plastic things that you would get and the sheets and oh uh, yeah, da. Um, so anyway, um, so I've been using folk art forever. Uh, and then I just got blessed and lucky enough to um, be asked to work as an ambassador. So, you know, put that out into the universe, what you want. Try to be as positive as you can, even on your bad days, because it is hard. Believe me, I have had a very, very hard uh, couple weeks. And but in my head, and I have up on the wall, progress, not perfection. And um, I just keep I know that sounds silly, but it sometimes it reminds me. So anyway, I'm done blobbing. And we're just going to start this. And this is just for you to sit and draw. And if you would be so kind, please share it with me so I can see it. Okay, so this is just a piece of plastic, of course, use a piece of kids foam, use anything that has a straight edge. Um, it could be maybe a stamp you have or a stencil. It doesn't matter. Use it. I use, I take my old pasta boxes cause I use them. I recycle them into canvases as well. Um, which is another thing you can use this for go into your pantry. When you use your pasta or your rice or whatever, save those cardboards. I have them. I drive Dave nuts. I also save cardboard boxes. Amazon is my favorite friend because I save the boxes and rip them apart. Um, and I paint on them as you can see, let me show you. This is, this is from water bottles and I mean, you see what I'm saying? That's from a uh, mixed media pad that was done. That's nice cardboard. So believe me, I, I, I do what I say. All right. So I'm going to go down half the page and I'm going to talk more about mixed media at home um, in another video because you guys love that and have been requesting it. So I'm going to go down about half the page. I'm not worrying how straight I am because <laughs> I'm not really straight. And I'm going to take my pencil very lightly and I'm going to, I'm just going to draw. Okay. Now the rule of thumb is to keep, I'm going to move in just so you guys can see a little bit better. The line is to, um, you want the same width. They say three eyes apart. Um, I have so many books. I should give you names in case you ever see them at the Barnes and Noble or on Amazon. Maybe I'll do that in another video of where I've learned um, a lot of my stuff. So um, three widths of your eyes. And what I do is I mark kind of what, how wide I want it. And this, I use my um, Stabilo, Stabilo All. I love this. Um, it's one of my favorite things in the world, but of course use your pen, pencil, colored pencil. It doesn't matter what you use. Um, and I marked as wide as I wanted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of, kind of judge <laughs> in the middle, kind of very lightly and just kind of put a line down the middle. So I'm making kind of a cross. Why is my light blown out? Um, and what we're going to do is I'm going to see if I can see if I can get you guys a little. see if that helps a little bit. Uh, if you can see it a little bit better, I'll start making them a little darker. Let me do this a little darker so you guys can see. Like I said, you want to do it as light as you can because you want to be able to, um, but I'm not going to be able to for you guys to see. So I'm just going to go over it real quick so you guys can see it. Okay. So you see, I got my cross. Now I'm going to go in where I have my lines and this is about I'm going to say it's about maybe an inch and a half wide, but of course do it, you know, whatever you want. And I'm going to put this kind of in the middle. The line going down is going to be kind of in the middle of those two lines, right? And I'm going to mark it here and I'm going to mark it here. And that's going to give me my one eye width and that's going to be in between. Now this can vary. It doesn't have to be spot on. It gives you an idea, but you definitely don't have to do it uh, as you know, measured as this. I'm just giving you a basic. Once you get the basics, you go crazy when you start drawing because that's the fun of it. So now you're going to take your line over here and you're going to put it, you see, right there. And you're going to mark it here. So this will become your one eye. 
And I'm doing the face that I did on my um, goddess girl, which is my uh, YouTube picture, my little orange haired uh, goddess. That's the kind of eyes that I'm doing. So you see, so now we have a basic. It's not spot on, but it's going to be nice. And it's this is going to be where we draw our eye. That's in between. And then this. So now we want to kind of get an idea where we want the top of our eye lid to be. So I want them to be even. So I'm going to kind of put my thing here again on my baseline and I'm going to move it up. I can see underneath here, but you don't necessarily have to. And I'm going to move it up. So it's about the same, um, you know, height up. And I'm just going to give a light mark. Okay. And that's where I'm going to make it. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take my, see where my line goes up. I'm going to kind of make it a corner down here. I'm going to make it go up like this. And I'm going to do that here as well. I'm going to do it here as well. And it's just going to that line. That's kind of like we're going for an almond shape. And I'm doing it light because we could definitely fix it. So what I'm going to do, and I'm probably only going to do eyes today, and then tomorrow we'll do the nose, and tomorrow and the next day we'll do the mouth. And then what we'll do is put it together um, because I think it'll be easier than you can just go back and watch and do these in practice. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here at the corner, and I'm going to go up, and I'm going to hit as close to, you don't have to, the middle of that line that I drew, and I'm going to do it here as well. I'm going to do this the same and that the same. And this is all erasable and, you know, we can fix it. I just want you to kind of get an idea. So you see, we have our eye started. Then this is going to become the base of our eye. So I'm going to kind of go in and I'm doing this darker and a little bigger so you guys can see. All right. And that's going to be our base. Now look at them. We have the same height basically, but they're not the, quite the same shape. Does that matter? Not really. If it matters to you, just go. I can see like right here, it's not as rounded and I'm just going to take it a little wider. That's all right. A little wider, a little fuller. Okay. And then just make this a little darker. And you see how we got it? Now I'm going to take my eraser, use whatever you have, and I'm going to erase my little lines that I drew to measure. This is not the best eraser for this. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, you need a harder eraser. That's what she said. Okay. All right, just a little bit, and I'm going to take this line off of your guide. And then you're going to go in. You can see I erased a little bit of it, and that's okay. But I'm going to kind of go in light again because I want to make sure I like what I got. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So here's where you can do, if you have a circle, uh, template. I'm not going to use one, but if you have one, you can definitely use it. I'm going to go in and add a circle in the middle. And because this is a flat one, a straight line, it's going to, you know, go all the way down. So I'm just going to kind of go in. And you see how I just added a circle and I'm going to do it here too. Now I can see this one's bigger, so I'm going to go in. That's all you do. It's it's not a big deal. Just kind of go in. And if you are somebody who would rather kind of go in and draw your circle because you get better flow, then by all means, go in and draw your circle. You know what I'm saying? And now you can see this is where every time you do something, make sure you look like to see like, oh, okay, you know what? This is a little wider than this. And this eye looks definitely better. So I'm going to kind of go in and you can see, here's where I put the outside. 
And here's that guideline right there, right? Right here's the guideline outside. And here it's much closer. So I'm gonna move this in a bit closer, my guideline, and that is where I'm gonna go back in with my eye, my eyelid. So then it becomes much more even looking and we'll erase all that and you'll see that. So you can see now we have our eyeballs in and we want a little bit of an eyelid. So you can choose at this point if you want to do the eyelid inside to make the eyes a little bit less. Let me show you. I take it from this corner and very, just skim it a little bit. And you can make your eyelid like that or you could do it more on top. That's a preference of what you want to do. So you decide which one you like better. Um, I think for this one, we'll stick with that. Just because I think it'll be a little. Uh... Okay. Go back and get that. And then, so I'll do, you know, just kind of sketch that in and not too worry. Now I'm going to go in. I'm not going to, you know, worry about too much, but I'm going to fix this. I'm going to erase all that extra. I'm going to erase this line underneath. Now you can see I wrote it. I drew it a little hard. Um, oh, the jokes, the jokes, Kel. Um, so, you know, you, that's why you want to do it a little softer. And I'm just taking some of these lines out. I'm not worrying too much because we're just sketching to get what you want. You know what I'm saying? What you want, you what you want. And then I'm going to go in again. It takes a minute. This isn't like boop, boop, boop. I know people show that that's what they do and, and maybe they can do that. I can't. So if you can do that, boop, boop, boop all the way. You know what I'm saying? All right. So now I'm going back in and I'm going to just kind of see what I got going on here. And then I want to decide my pupil. And you want it to be round. Your pupil is always round. It might be like cut off because your eyelids down or your eyes are, you know, maybe your eyes aren't as wide. Like Emily has very wide eyes. I don't. So, you know, it, it depends. So just go in and we're just doing the circle again. Um, and we're just going to do a circle. Use your circle template if you want to, to make them even if that's what you want. But if you go like this. You just kind of boop, boop, sketch it very, you know, very lightly so you can erase. You'll have your pupils. Now you also can put them right in the middle right here. Like that, that's usually how I start it. Let me show you another way. So I just look and I'm like, oh, okay. The middle of my eyes right here, which that's where your pupil is. Okay. So that's my pupil. So then what I kind of do, because I, like I said, my brain does not work well with my uh, hands and I just lightly sketch, 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 scroll my pupil. And I just make it go around in circles very lightly. And you could do this with a paintbrush. It doesn't matter. And then you can always go in later and, you know, firm it up a little bit, you know, make it look a little bit rounder and darker, whatever you want. It's just so you have that sketch in there. So you kind of know what you're dealing with. Right. And then what I like to do, and we're going to finish the eyes. Now the eyebrows, um, kind of go, I don't know. I'm kind of not like an expert on eyebrows because if you saw mine, you would know they're a mess and my daughter yells at me all the time. But however, um, you know, eyebrows are kind of, you know, some like them thick, some don't. That's what she said. Oh my goodness, again. All right. Anyway, that's where, and we'll deal with eyebrows later. But, you know, just so you get a better view. So then what I like to do is, this scares the crap out of people. I take my eraser, use a good one, um, go to the dollar store and get one of those red school ones we used to have or whatever. Um, this is a Prismacolor I got into a pack of like, Prismacolor pencils or something. Okay, so we see we're at, we're taking this, the lightest, lightest, right? Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. We're going, we're going, we're going, we're going, everybody's going. All right. Okay. I'll quit singing and be a little faster. I know somebody who just finds my video will be like, rah, rah, rah. 
And those stupid jokes. Look. I find I'm, I think I'm very funny on certain days. And when I, when I'm thinking I'm funny, I'm going for it and I don't care. All right. So you see, you can see, see it kind of, but not really, but kind of. So now's when you will take your permanent marker uh, or pen or, you know, what have you. you can use a color pencil, whatever you have and um, go to your dollar store. They have permanent markers there and you can get the fine you know, or the thicker, doesn't matter what you have. The point is, is you're just getting, you know, you're going to be doing it. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to draw, I can see this bottom line. If my pen works. Nope, it's not going to work because I ruin my markers. I do. Let's do a different color. Let's see. Mm. I'm horrible with my markers because I write over acrylic paint all the time. Okay. And these aren't cheap, but use a coupon. They will be. All right. So I'm just doing this. And mine's a little bigger because I want you guys to see it. However, you know, it doesn't matter how big it is. Well, sometimes it does, but another joke she's on fire all right and you could see i am not doing it perfect because i can't i can't you know so if this bothers you trace it before you erase it oh trace it before you erase it all right and then we'll go in everything's fixable remember even after you trace it and we have some eyes now I'm going to tell you, look, I missed my mark there. Now this obviously is permanent, um, marker, which, you know, whatever. I always do that. And you can see, I can't get that up because it's dry and it's permanent. It's all right. Don't, don't worry about that. We're not getting stuck on that stuff. We're just doing the basics. So you guys learn, because let me tell you something. And I said this a million times, if you've been with me. The more you do this, the better you get. Do this once a day. Once a day. Make Take a, you know, a little paper pad you have or whatever you have, or just do it here. Line it, five, and every day do them, and then see your first ones to your last ones and see the difference. So this is our eyes. Uh, this is just the basic of how the eye is. It's not that big of a deal. Um, try it. And like I said, look, I'm going to show you. I am not on fleek here. <laughs> it's all right. Because when I go to draw, you'll see at the end, when I go to draw my face, I'm going to cut some of that eye off. And when I cut, uh, it's wet and it's bleeding. Um, when I cut that eye off, it's going to look normal. So there's always ways to fix it. And I'm going to show you guys how. So don't get caught up on all these little details. We're going to make it look nice. Um, just remember the base of what I've, t I've told you to make it look, because one of the things people do when they draw is they don't necessarily measure the in-between. And what happens is you have an eye here and an eye here, which is great if you've already, if you're comfortable in drawing and you don't care. Um, and then people are like, oh, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. It doesn't matter. Look, we're going to fix it. It's going to be good. So check out my video tomorrow where we'll be doing the nose. Um, and then we'll be doing the lips and then we'll put her together into a nice little cute face uh, for you to do with whatever you want. But this is practice. And this is fun. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. If you enjoy my videos, please share me around. Please press that like button and subscribe if you're not already. I would appreci Ugh, appreciate it. And um, remember, progress, not perfection. We are just we're just doing stuff. We are making progress. And I love you guys so very much. I can't even, I can't even thank you guys enough for watching my videos and sharing and all your comments. I'm very, very blessed. And, um, share, like I said, share what you guys do because I love it. And all my links are down below. So check them out and you can follow me everywhere. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.